Well, let's see uh, what we got so far. Uh, what I did since last time was uh, finish cleaning up all the joints and putty. There was a lot of little fussy things I didn't like. Um, one of the issues was the top and bottom half of this vehicle are two different colors, and that's where the uh, parts join. Needed some putty, but not too much because I didn't want to completely obliterate that panel line because that's the paint demarcation. So let's see what we've got. So I went ahead and masked it, and um, I decided that it was easier to paint the black on the bottom first and then um, mask that and then paint the uh, uh, top part a, a flat uh, metallic shade. And then after that, we'll um, uh, and we'll we'll mask the black and then paint that top half, and then that's going to be it. And the reason I did that is because it's going to be, I think, easier. Of course, I did mask this because I didn't want to have to paint a lighter metallic over the dark uh, black, so to get a constant underlying color. So we've got that. So let's take the um, the masking off and and see what that's going to look like. Um, you know, I, I could have done this, but I think I'll get a cleaner edge as well by doing it the other way. And we got a little, little rough there at the, at the front. Let's take some more of this off and you can see how this came up. But that was my approach. And we'll take this all off so you can see what the overall shape looks like. You know, the parts fit together pretty well. There's not much to this. It's a very simple little kit. Uh, the wing attached to the fuselage is a little funky. It's not very clean. Um, it's not as crisp and smooth as you'd like it, but it's serviceable. Let's see if we can get this back off. This is going to be interesting in the back here because I've got this back panel, which needs to be uh, that flat metallic color. And um, I went and, see, I take a little toothpick and I'll make a little wedge on it start it with that so I don't scrape up the paint and then use it. Here we go. See, that's where the demarcation is going to be. And I thought, you know, I can be a little bit tricky because it's tricky to mask in there, as you can see. Uh, trying to get a masking edge underneath this wing. Now, of course, it's on the bottom of the model, so you're not going to see it that much. But there we go. Um, I think it's going to be easier to mask the black and get a nice clean edge with the aluminum color. And what I'm thinking of doing is probably using some more of my good old Vallejo and adding a couple of drops of maybe a very light gray because based on some of the color photos I've seen, um, here, I think that's it. It's um, a um, very, it's not a shiny aluminum, but it's a very flat aluminum and uh, a few touch-ups from there. Uh, fortunately, there is a big line across the back, so that's a seam, not really a seam, but that's actually a, let me see, where's the picture? Here's a picture. There's a big line across the back, so that's okay. The landing gear in the back actually come out there. I don't know that this little exhaust pipe has been included, but you can see on the color here, it's very, uh, very kind of a, a little sheen on this one, but it's a very flat, light-colored aluminum, not very shiny at all. Um, shouldn't be too hard to replicate. So, so the next step, I'm gonna. I painted this yesterday. Maybe have to touch that up there a little bit by hand, and um, I might let it dry another day. I don't know. This stuff is pretty good, but I like to let the acrylics dry very thoroughly before I mask them. So we'll see, I've got another project I'm working on. But next we'll mask the black, paint this with flat. I've got uh, some of the little landing gear pieces, got a little primer on them. Probably paint these by hand, in the, or maybe just wait till I get that flat aluminum, paint them all that same color. And uh, off we go, pretty simple, straightforward little job. Uh, so, but it's fun with these resin kits, you get some unique, uh, unique uh, models you won't find uh, anywhere else. So uh, stay tuned for the next installment in a few days. Thanks very much.